What's going on everybody? It's Carlos here from Premier Viewer and finally I have my first video of my build vlog or log vlog vlog I don't know build log. So in this video we're going to be talking about a few items that I have. Now I'm about 90% complete with this build. I'm still missing something and that's something you're going to have to wait to the end of the video to find out. But anyways, in this video, we're going to talk about a few parts that I picked up and hopefully you guys can see where I'm going with this build. So without further ado, let's get this build started. So in front of me, we have four things, two being the same. We have our RAM, a processor, and our memory. So we're gonna go over a few of these. Well, we're gonna go over all of them and uh, maybe tell you why I got these. So honestly, we'll start with the Corsair RAM. This is the Vengeance LPX. Now this is DDR4, clocked at 24 megahertz which I'm pretty sure you can overclock this. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. So with this, we have 32 gigs of RAM. Um, like I said, this is four sticks of eight, so it's more than enough, um, and it gives me room to actually upgrade up to 64 if I want to in the future, but for right now, I think 32 is gonna be great. Now, I found these on sale, a lot of, did a lot of my shopping, on Cyber Monday and Black Friday. And for 32 gigs of DDR4, which we know at the time of this video, DDR4 is starting to come down in price, but it's not completely uh, inexpensive. Uh, I was able to pick this up for just under $200. So to get 32 gigs of DDR4, that's pretty insane for that price. Uh, prior to that, it was in the I think 250 to some, some even some ram was going up to 300 but you can't go wrong with what corsair has done with their vengeance line so i'm really stoked about that so now we're going to move into the storage so here we have samsung ssd 840 evo this is going to be my boot drive i have 120 gigs of ssd storage in here i'm really excited because this is from a prior um, machine that I had actually it was my laptop when I first started YouTube that I was editing on I changed to an SSD got a great deal on this so I had this left over so this is going to be my boot drive now this is going this is special because over here I have some Kingston hyper savage 240 giga gigabytes of SSD now I have to give a big shout out to um, Kingston for sponsoring me with this. Uh, this another thing that saved me on some costs. This will be my editing drive. This is where I'll be doing primarily all of my editing from. So you have reads of 560 and writes of 530s, which is excellent. So big shout out to Kingston for being a sponsor and helping me out with this build. Now to move along, Let's go to the processor. Now this processor is a Core i7 um, 5820K. Uh, now I had a, I had help from my good friend, Mobile Carlos. He kind of helped me decide on this processor. And I gotta say that I am going to, I know I'm going to be super satisfied. Now this is clocked at 3.3 gigahertz. Since this is the K version, I will be able to overclock this. Not something that I'll probably do because, well, not something I'll probably do in the beginning. This is something that I'll probably do a few months down the road when I get more familiar with my actual build. So I'm really stoked to get this six core, the, pretty much the latest six core. I know there's Skylake at this time of this video, but I don't think they have a six core Skylake uh, CPU. I, I'm pretty sure they don't. But again, this is six core, so that gives me six actual cores, and it's 12, 
with the six virtual cores that it provides. So you're looking at around 12 core performance, especially for rendering videos. This is going to be a boss of a processor. So I'm really ex excited about that as well. So guys, so far in this video, we have gone over the storage. You have memory here, more memory and the processor. Uh, in the next video you guys are gonna see, we'll be talking about the case, the motherboard, and probably, we'll probably just stick with the case and the motherboard. So make sure you subscribe to see that video. And like I always say, until next time, I'll see you around.